In the UK, two teenagers have been arrested in connection with a racially aggravated assault on a man from Singapore. The student said he was attacked in February in London by a group of men who told him, I don't want your coronavirus in my country. Meanwhile, there's been a rise in the number of racist incidents against Asian people in Italy, the country with the biggest death toll outside China. Ross Cullen reports from Rome. Joya was crossing the road one morning, taking an order of coffee to a customer when she was subjected to racist abuse. One example of how people who don't have coronavirus are still affected by the outbreak. And they just um, trying to attack me and they, they just throw me down on the floor, on the ground, and kick me on my head and my shoulder and my back. And then there are many Chinese who's um, coming and they saw there's many people uh, like around and they ran away. The atmosphere in Italy intensified last month when the far-right governor of the northern Veneto region, which has been hit hard by the virus and has towns under lockdown, made a racist comment about Chinese people. The ambassador in Rome responding, saying Italy and China are shoulder to shoulder against the virus, many of our Italian friends do not agree with and even criticise such statements. As COVID-19 has spread around the world, so too has misinformation online and discrimination in public. One student has taken to social media to voice his concerns. Mirko Liu, whose grandparents came to Italy from China, says that in Italy there is still underlying discrimination that's been uncovered as the outbreak has spread. Morally and economically, the situation has changed drastically compared to two months ago. I think some Italians are using the issue of coronavirus to give a voice to their repressed racism. As the Italian authorities fight to contain the spread of the disease, there's another battle taking place, as many people of Asian descent see discrimination spreading too.